You're watching The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. We got a special, we got some special guests in the building. A room yeah. full of legends right That's now. Right. Hey, hey. Like the the of and, and one of them has never been here, and I I'm like so ecstatic to meet him. Bobby Brown! <laughs> yeah. What up? King Bobby Brown is <laughs> yeah. here! That's right. What's going go. on? So Bobby now it's Ronnie, Bobby, 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 Ricky, and Mike. That's yes. right. Yeah. RBRM. Now, right. for, has this collective come about because Ralph and Johnny own the name New Edition? No. Oh, right. Um, this came about because we are, um, we just want to go on tour. That's you know, right. we right. want to embark on some, something different. Um, we want to add a, um, another child to New Edition, mm -hmm. um, which is the mother. Um, of all of us as individuals and as groups, and mm -hmm. so we just added another baby to the to the pot, you right. know, R B R M. Um, we're looking forward to getting out there on tour, man. Mm -hmm. well, so, with, man, the, with the guys, with, with the tour that you went on before, how was that tour? Because I know at one time I went on tour, it was good, and then I heard there was rumblings. Were y'all all good, or there was problems? Still, man, when mm -hmm. you when you rocking with a with. A, guys that you've been rocking with you know most of your life i mean it's a marriage right you know it's family and sometimes we all agree and we're all on the same page and sometimes we're not right and um you know if we you know this might be a little controversial but honestly like you know thank god for bbd thank god for bobby brown and the fact that we're able to come together because you know if we didn't have this if we didn't have these other entities these other groups you know, I don't know what we would do. We would just, we kind of be asked out. Yeah, you can't see Candy to. Girl by yourself. Right, right. right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is there to argue about? Like, you go, you do, go to stage, you do your song, y'all really, can just split up, you ain't got to speak man, to each other. if it was, <laughs> it, it, trust me, if it was that simple. If it was that simple, yeah. If it was that simple, we I don't know if y'all saw Color Me Bad's performance. <laughs> <Yeah>. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you hear about it all the time. You hear about groups breaking up, getting back Rolling together. Rolling Stones. I you mean, know, everybody from Joe yeah. to C to 112 to whoever it is, um, maintaining, getting everybody on the same page in the group is really challenging. But you figure when you're young, it's ego. But right. now when you, when you get a little older, you be like, it's about to check. I got to go feed the family. So exactly. It be, exactly. Yeah. exactly. Exactly. That's the only thing. You, hey, that's the only thing I think about. It should be about, about that, you yeah. know? Right. And that's what we think about. We got we got families, right. you know? Yes, and like you said, it's especially about, when the bar is set so high, the new addition story, Right. Uh, generations of people that weren't attached My to us initially to right, right now are waiting to come see us. Right. So you're right. In one sense, it doesn't have to do with the ownership of the name, mm -hmm. but it does have to do with differences. You know, the reason right. why all six of us are not sitting well, here right well, now. Why do you know? Ralph and Johnny own the name New Edition? I think it was sitting out there, Charlemagne, and we was all focused on so much other stuff. I don't think people even realize as, as important as it was, it was just an oversight. They right. trademarked mm -hmm. it. Yeah, right. someone right. caught it, boom, boom, boom. We found out about it later, but we dealing with that now. Like, I, I feel as though when Brooke gave it to us, me, Ricky, and Bob, you know what I mean, on a piece of paper, that's that's it. Right. The truth is in the moment. We're not going to argue about the name. We built the name. Plus, right. Johnny came into the name. Right. So right. it's it's nothing, you know, it's just fun times. Mm -hmm. People talking about us. The movie's right. still going. It's yeah. been a year. Right. So we we riding it. And I know we're going to get back together because we always do. That's what the right. movie's about. I just feel like a phone, if you're going to trademark the name, that's something that all six of y'all should have been involved. Yeah. yeah. So all six of y'all names should be on that. Yeah. yeah. So actually, time, seven. Though. Actually, seven. Yeah. We're, 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 we're yeah. playing exactly. because he gave us the name. He right. thought of the name. Right, right. You know? Well, happy Michael birthday. Well, you got to say happy birthday to Mike. Mike. Yes, yeah, happy yeah, birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy birthday. And I saw you got ten. your honorary high school diploma yes, as well. Yes, so yes, congratulations yes. on that. It's, awesome. it's been a beautiful yeah. ride to the 50th. It was, um, went back to my high school. My kids was there. My oldest spoke. You know, I got my diploma. I had my cap and gown. My mom, my family, my crew from Boston. Then the fellas came up back to Boston. You was supposed to come I was through. Supposed to come, yeah. yeah. Charlemagne. I mean, I don't know where y'all be. He be always booked somewhere, right. but it, it was incredible. Bro. You had a park, and I it see the performance park. at the yeah. park. That yeah, was big. Derby Park got the name of that. Had a ribbon cut, and then we had a rooftop party. But um, oh, well, you never good, finished high school? Nah, bro. They left I, in tenth grade. I, I came edition? out. Yeah. I went to school, school, bro, for we'll the, uh, for <laughs> the, for the we'll first seven days of uh, I think um, '84, and we walked out. 
Right. All of y'all, so none of y'all had diplomas. Yeah. Nah. 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 Mm-hmm. Our wow. diploma is the game. Right. Wow. <laughs> wow. Mm-hmm. So I saw when you posted that basically you were going to sit down with everybody and get everybody back on the same page, right? Mm-hmm. When the tour fell apart at first and you guys were supposed to go on tour and perhaps do some more after the new edition movie. Right. So how did you guys all get back on the same page? How did that well, work? That was just more or less of the cry from the fans. I mean, we got some people in that really been with us from day one. You know, those are the button girls. Mm-hmm. And they really felt like with their children, like bro was saying, they wanted to bring their kids to the tour. Mm -hmm. And just with the fault of some of the things that didn't happen, that should have happened, I just wanted to let them know, just hold on. Y'all, we done seen this play before. We gonna figure it out. Mm -hmm. Just, I know y'all want it now, but it wasn't meant to be now, but it definitely has to happen. Because if we don't do it, then it leaves our legacy with an empty chapter. Mm -hmm. You know, that run is more than just getting on stage. That's a financial run, that's a legacy run, that leads to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Right. It might lead to nights four, five, and six. So when cats are ready to receive the bigger picture of it, then I think that's when it's going to happen. Right. I would love for all of y'all to answer this question, uh, starting with Bobby. Do you think that y'all dropped the ball after the new edition movie? Uh, dropped the ball. I just think, um, I just think we didn't capitalize on... Um, everything that we could have capitalized on. Um, there was so much out there, there was so much money, so much um, that we were supposed to, you know, do after the movie. Um, and, you know, I play I play a major part in, in, in that not happening, mm-hmm. but at the same time, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful that I was able to um, take my take my time with um what I what I wanted to do and what we were gonna do and um fortunately, you know, we're here now. Mm-hmm. You know, um You said unf- you dropped the ball. How did you drop the ball? What 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 made you not want to jump in and do it? Well I just, you know, I was I was not in the in, in the frame of mind to mm-hmm. um to um go out on tour or, or, or mm-hmm. be performing, you know. Mm-hmm. I had other things that I was working on, you know, other projects that I've been doing you know my food line and, barbecue mm. sauce yeah mm. yeah definitely um and my family my kids mm. you know and worried about my children worried about my daughter you know and um it just wasn't the right time for right me. i would say bro in the basketball term we definitely turned it over mm. answer right. to your question yes and I, I same thing we definitely dropped the ball but um you can't force anyone to pick up the phone to return the calls or, right you know to come to the meetings yeah you know, it's out there you know and you can do your part to continue to show up and be there and voice your opinions or whatever but I, you know i can't go grab brothers by the neck and and make them get on the phone or right. come to the meeting or rehearse or whatever it is right. that we're doing so yeah yeah, yeah. De- definitely drop the ball man when you um think of not very many times in a career or in life do you get the chance to reset and reset again and reset again, right? And for the movie to come out so good to not have the full participation of all six of us is disappointing, you know? Mm. But ultimately, the four of us sit here, Mm -hmm. you know, and we look to continue the legacy of New Edition, you know, RBRM is not a new name for New Edition. Definitely Ronnie, Bobby, not. Ricky, and Mike is just that, you know, four guys from New Edition. Right. Like Mike said, we're going to get back to New Edition at some point. You know, it's just in, uh, ultimately kind of in God's time. Are y'all going to do New Edition songs on tour? Or y'all just... Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. Absolutely. Now, have you guys all seen the Bobby Brown story yet? No. I haven't. We haven't. Yet. I haven't seen one scene. Right. I only I thing I've seen. <laughs> I've seen. <laughs> yeah, I've seen. I've seen. The only thing I've seen is what everybody else has seen. Listen, I've seen about I four or five scenes that, ooh. <laughs> I mean, I'm sitting there engaged, just intense, <laughs> just wanting more. So, yeah, yeah. I read the book. And mm-hmm. I tell people all the time, Bobby Brown, every little step, one of the best books I've ever read in my life. Nice. So much so that I, I, I yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah, think, yeah. I don't know if BT can handle it. I don't know. If, I, I think it need to be rated R or something like. Yeah, that. probably so. But um, we um, I think we we did a good job with um, uh, calming it down. You mm. know, it's still raw and gritty. Yeah. But it's 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 made for TV. So mm. you know you. 
got to take it that way. I wish it was a feature. That way it, it would have been, you know. In, in your book, you mm -hmm. got a story about Janet Jackson. Oh, gosh. Mm -hmm. We talk about your relationship with Janet. Is that in the movie? I believe so. <laughs> I believe so. I believe so. I haven't seen the movie, the full cut of oh, the movie yeah. yet. Really? I wanted to wait um, to watch the whole movie with you know the world. You know, mm -hmm. I didn't want to um, spoil it for myself. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I want to be just as shocked as everybody else. You know, when when I watch it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. In the book, everybody talked about the story when you fucked the ghost, but I was like. Right. He threw Janet out of a hotel room naked. That's the story. That's the story. That's the story. Right. Now, do you, do you, people call you the king of R&B. Do you consider yourself the king of R&B? No, no. I, uh, I'm the king of stage, though. You know, um, you put me on stage against anybody and I whoop their ass. Even now? Yeah. Sorry, guys. Okay. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, shit, listen. Yeah, I don't, I don't we rocking like with him. <laughs> listen. Hey, that's that's the one-sixth of the, the personality. That's right. Yeah. Do you still get that feeling when you're on tour, when they like when they perform it? Like, you know what? Let me jump out there and show them what I got. Do you still, does he still do that? No, not yeah. with them. Okay. Nah, I'm, nah. With, well, Bob, them, with no, them, it's something different. With yeah, them, Bob, with no them, attitude. I, I don't, when it's our turn, we don't fuck around either. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, we I say don't. it loud, too. Mm -hmm. We no, coming we... for that ass, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we do. We exactly. Get down. You know, we've been we've been practicing and rehearsing and, and performing all of our lives, man, and, and that's what we do, mm -hmm. you know? And I just have a different type of yeah. mode that, you know, a different type of shift that I go to right. that um sometimes can be different than, than, than the others. But mm -hmm. we all have that that um that beast mode that we are, are built to. with, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. We're built with that beast mode. So, you know, we've been entertaining. You know, we don't perform. We entertain, Good you know? Point. So, and we give everything that we got when we walk on that stage. It's a right. whole total different person. No, but Bobby, one of the greatest moments uh, on stage of yours, to me, and they play it all the time on the internet, when you was dancing, and you dropped some type of substance out of your pocket. It was my watch off my wrist. It wasn't coke? No, no, oh. it was my watch off my wrist. Oh, well, see, now it's not and as impressive. People, gotta really, <laughs> people have to really look at that, and I mean, if, if we have this thing now that we can digitally Zoom um, in, zoom in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, if they digitally zoomed in, they'll realize that it wasn't no coke. Why would I walk on stage with coke in my pocket? Yeah, you know, it yeah. might melt. Well, you didn't melt. Miss... <laughs> 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 well, you didn't miss a beat. I ain't sir. trying to mess up my melt. high later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it might melt. Shit. Uh, right. Now, now, is it a problem between you and Ralph, Bobby? No, there's no problem between okay. me and Ralph. There's no problem between any of us. We just we just have our, our times, you know? Mm -hmm. All brothers have, you know, difficulties with each other at one point or another. Mm -hmm. um, and right now, you know, Ralph's doing his thing with his DJing and um, being on the radio and touring with, with uh, Johnny sometimes. And, you know, and we're doing what we're doing. I'm mm -hmm. doing what I'm doing, you know? Mm -hmm. But there's no problems with us. So will they be right. popping up on some dates, perhaps like a couple here and there? Probably, no? probably, probably not. Probably <laughs> not. Probably not. Uh, but you know, we would hope that you know they come to see the show. <laughs> <laughs> now do y'all have seasons? Do y'all be like, all right, man, we ain't messing with y'all this season. Like, do y'all know? It's like, is there a certain time yeah. of year y'all get together, everybody, it, and y'all know? Exactly. It good? seems like that. It's, right. It really does <laughs> seem like that. Back in the day when we just had managers mm -hmm. telling us what to do, just go there, go there. And we had very little opinion on what we, you know, you know, choices. But now, a lot of the times, you know, we, we're all making our own decisions and there's no majority rule. Mm -hmm. So whether it's mm -hmm. three of us against two or four against two or whatever it is, if somebody feels like they don't agree, that person just doesn't go. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we, you know, when, when people say y'all need to just get it together or whatever, it's like... I really do wish it was that easy. Yeah, right. and y'all gotta understand right. that, like you know, truthfully speaking, we get paid more with new edition. Mm -hmm. Right. When wow, it's all I'm six sure of it. us, mm -hmm. right? The I'm check sure. is bigger. Mm -hmm. well, e e even as individuals, so that's what we want to do. This is just you know, just like how we got to BBD was a fallback because yeah, you know, home dude wanted to go solo. So just like this, this is kind of a fallback, and thank God we got it because right. you know, Cassius didn't agree. 
with how things were going. Yeah. It's like What's the last time y'all had to move furniture and just fight? You know, I know y'all grown. Right. But still, y'all got feeling. What was the last time you said? Knees a little creaky now, man. Let's Anybody got time for that, man. Let's just move this furniture and we'll slap boxes a little bit. It was, it was Mike and, and Johnny in Detroit in the lobby. Recently? Nah, that was uh, it was a few nah. years ago. I wish really? I could put that, in the movie. That's nice, right. four or five. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. We can't wait. Tim moving the right, furniture. Right, right. I'm going to hit Not you with some furniture. Exactly. And like Mike said, so listen, you know, we pushing for nights four and five. So that's yeah. why we don't want to come here and just give you all the details about who said what, who did what, mm -hmm. whatever. Oh, because one know. wrong word in the interview, you won't talk to Ralph and Johnny until 2020. Now, Ronnie, how is it, how's it going to be for you leaving the twins at home to go on the road? Oh, man, I'm trying to figure out how I can get them out there as much as possible. Nice. Um, I've been away from them for about, what, maybe six days now, mm -hmm. yo. Yeah. And I'm having withdrawals <laughs> right now. They just turned one years old. Um... Uh, so how do you really say that, right? One year old one or year. one years old? One, one year, year, right? One year old. And then it goes into multiples yeah. when you get to two. One. Right. Okay. <laughs> They're one. Yeah. Right, July 14th. And it's the most amazing thing. We've done so much in our careers, right, as entertainers. And Bob started that. Well, Ralph started that beast mode, but then Bob took it to another level as individuals, which right. made us feel like, okay, the apple falls from the tree and we can go get that too as Belle Biv DeVoe, right? right and all the accolades and things that we've done over time and nothing compares to having your own seed, you know? And when they say you're able to live forever, that's truly how you're able to live forever through your DNA, you know, and right. what you do to impact individuals while you're here. So we feel like no addition, when it's put on a pedestal and it's right, we're able to impact so many more individuals. Right. But until we get to that point, I'm a rock with Ronald and Roman and my beautiful wife Shamari. I'm a rock with my guys Ricky, Mike, and Bobby and their children, and we're gonna keep this thing moving forward. It's, it's, you know, we found out from the new edition movie that, that uh, Ricky had a problem with drugs. Was there ever a point where drugs became a problem for the group as a collective? Uh, nah, nah. We uh, we didn't. Really, I mean, we smoked weed and drank. Yeah, you know, that was probably the most we did yeah, as a, a group together. Yeah, we, did we did that, that a lot. Yeah. A lot. We did. Yeah. 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 I, I, wrote, I once wrote the weed. quickest joint in the world. <laughs> Where? In the back of the bus. We, we <laughs> were sitting in the back of the bus and we was... Um, you know, we Bobby smoking. rolled sloppy blunts. I was like, come on, man. Get yeah. out of here with that shit. <laughs> Ron, 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 you got to give Ron, Ron a rolled the Ron best, rolled best that best motherfucker. Yeah, best let's go. Yeah. Like, right, right. Hands right. down. Sit in that bathroom go, no, wait for Ron. <laughs> right. Ron is spinning that motherfucker that way and then right. go this way. And, nah. and, and honestly, when we put it in the movie, we was trying to tell BET, let us be us. But they was like, yo, we can only put so much of this, that, and the third. And we didn't want to do it to glorify, but we was just like, we had our thing. But Brooke, he was so good with us. There's so much shit people didn't know until the movie. Mm -hmm. So back to you, Rick, he was probably asking you some other shit, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, like, like, deal I, with it. like I didn't, y'all didn't know about y'all individual issues? Nah, because um, during my, you know, um, battle with cocaine and, and pills and everything else, it was like on that downswing when we wasn't working, mm. which actually played a lot in the reason, you know, why I used so much. Mm -hmm. You know, I was just like depressed and full of anxiety and not knowing where the next check was coming from. And that was just how I started to deal with, you know, all of those issues. Were you shocked, Bobby, that Ricky had a coke problem? Yeah, I was extremely shocked. Um, I didn't find out till, you know, till later on. and. Um, He's he's probably one of the reasons you know that I stopped, you know, um, when I when I realized that you know, if 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 my big brother you know developed a problem because of and I felt because of me mm -hmm. you know because of you know what I was going through, um, I just felt bad you know. But um, we we work with each other now and mm -hmm. we. Um, we hold each other up, and you know mm -hmm. we we take care of each other, and that's the difference. When you have when you have a support system, when you have somebody there with you that has been through exactly what you have been through, then you're able to cope with it a lot better. Why did you feel like you were responsible for his drug problem? I don't know. You know, just me being gone and me being away, and them dealing with what they were dealing with with Ralph and 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 Johnny. Mm -hmm. um, I just thought, you know. 
I don't feel I was the the reason he did it. You know, mm-hmm. I just felt bad. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. You know, bad. did you ever regret leaving and going solo? Did you ever regret that? No, role? never left. No, no. Not how whatsoever. could you? I how could you? you? Man. 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 How could you? Not whatsoever. Not whatsoever. No, um, because he came right. He right. Came. Exactly. Listen to I mean, the that depth. Was, that was supposed to happen. Yeah. Yeah. The depth of new addition. The depth of new addition became deeper when Bobby left the group. You know, like. Not only was it Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky, and Mike, and then on Candy Girl, we're saying each other's names, but when he left the group, you really started to see the personalities of the individuals in the, in group, the group, you yeah. know? And then Belle Bib DeVoe came, right. got formed. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. Have you guys yeah. ever thought about replacing any of the members now that are enjoying Hell, the group? Nah, nah, y'all can't nah. do there's that. No, can't there's do no that. possible way to nah. replace yeah. any That's member That's too much of Boston edition. pride. <laughs> yeah. Now, we not doing Louisiana. We not we not doing that shit. <laughs> right. The reason we did y'all DC. can't do that is because of the individual DC. success, though. Huh? Exactly. Y'all were too big as individuals. Bobby was too big as a solo artist. Y'all too big right. as a group. Johnny was too big as a solo artist. Rob was too big as a solo artist. Y'all can't just replace them. Yeah. Right. Y'all not That's Drew tough. Hill. Tough. Nah, nah, <laughs> you know right, what I'm saying? Nah. I'm just oh, saying. Wow. Nah, yeah, we'll, exactly. we'll, we'll go down a number before we go into a number. Mm-hmm. Even with even when Bob was gone, you know, we was four for a long time. Right. You know, we didn't even we didn't even know how to think about five. You know, we just was like we just have to figure out how to survive, and how we got to five is wasn't because we wanted five. Right. We was really down to three, mm-hmm. so that got us back to four, and then four got us back to five, which is in the movie. Right. Mm-hmm. And you know, and I think um, the initial reason. At the time when we sought out a fifth member and put Johnny in the group, asked him to be in the group, our idea at the time was, because the question for the three of us was, what are we going to do once Ralph is gone? How do we keep going? We need another strong vocal. Mm -hmm. You know, we need another strong lead singer. You know, and that was going to be Johnny, but not knowing that he was due to go do his solo album as well after that Heartbreak album. So, But that was the initial idea was just for us to survive as a, as new addition once we're out once solo. Most people think that Johnny replaced me. Johnny was there to replace, to to add on, because Ralph was going solo. Mm-hmm. Right. So, right. you know, I just want to put that out there real quick. <laughs> so nobody could replace Bobby. Let y'all Bobby. know that. Right. Bobby, right. let me ask you this. For um, your kids, did you have to explain to them, like before the book came out, before you do this movie, just everything that happened, like have a sit down and say, okay, you're gonna see a lot of things that you might not have known. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, the part part of the reason for doing the movie is to show my kids my life, you know, is to teach them, you know, what what their father has been through. You know, I don't wanna hide anything from them and one day they pop up and, you know, on the internet and see something strange about their father and not know about it. So this movie is part partly to you know educate them about who the who the man is that they call you know father or daddy you know so that's that's probably yeah what what did you think of, of Pusha T's album cover when you seen Pusha T's album I haven't seen it mm-hmm. you know I don't I I really don't care for you know to 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 see anything like that you know. Mm-hmm. And it's it's just it's it's disgusting that you know um, they don't have enough sense and enough respect for for people that they do shit like that. You know, um, Kanye knows no wait wait Kanye don't know no better. So um, I'm not I'm not I'm not even really worried about it. I don't even want to give them the time of day. Mm. You know you know I, I mean you know when you read your book, Bobby, you you realize all the losses that you've suffered. Do you do you ever think you'll get to a space where you aren't in grief mode, or are you? Are you always in grief mode? Um, I'm working on that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Actually, I work on it every day. You know, mm-hmm. um, it's you. You you never stop uh, missing the person you love. You know, the person you lost. You never stop missing them. Uh, you never stop thinking about them. So I just try to um, think positively about them and think about the good times and mm-hmm. and keep them in my heart. You know, they're always around me. So. There's no, there's no reason to grieve when you know you have loved ones that you lost. You know, mm-hmm. you don't grieve for them. You feel happy for them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now with R and B music now, do you think? What do you think of R and B music now? I should ask. I think I think it's coming back. I think I think we have a lot of great soul <clears throat> singers out there that are um, 
male and female, that um, are bringing love back into music, mm -hmm. you know? Um, it's just the radio, you know? The radio is are, are playing, you know, song, song after song that don't have no meaning, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, they play them back to back to back to back to back. And it just drills into kids' minds. And if you if you're not if you're not playing music about love, then kids aren't gonna know about love. Mm. You know, we have to we have to start building their minds with love and care, and not with all this booty shaking <laughs> pop pop. And, right. The you shit know, you be doing. That, 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 that was that was good. That was good when we did it. But you know what's good when we did it. Like y'all used to make those kind of records. Bob used to make those kind of records. But your actual life was the opposite. It was both. Yeah, it was yeah, definitely. It was, it was, no, it was no. definitely both. When we made was, poison. We was definitely. I'm not. You I'm know, not. I'm not. Wait a minute. I'm not going to be a hypocrite. <laughs> you know, right. I'm not a hypocrite. But at the same time, I have kids. You know, right. and right. I, I want my kids to listen to the type of music that I've listened to when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. You know, love songs. Right. And things that make you want to dance and right. not. And for us, it, there was a balance, ultimately. I think it's life is about the correct balance. And when you're getting too much of anything that's not good for you, you see the result of it. So I hear you loud and clear. Like, we, we definitely need that balance of love and R&B infused back in the game because, man, hip-hop and almost Southern influences squeezing a whole lot of shit out from pop to country and rock and roll. You know, for that matter, when you think about the culture, but when overall. we was twenty, that shit was hot. Right, right. slapping the right. ass was yeah. the hottest exactly. shit. To yeah, do. Well, that's, and that's to like what we R. were Kelly doing. Now, given everything that's happened with him, I think <sighs> um, I think it's out of our league because to be in his shoes, I, I can't really relate. You know, I know it's a great question, right. but I don't have a good answer for what he's going with. <laughs> that was a great answer. Right? That was a great answer. <laughs> that is a great R&B song. <laughs> but it ain't got a good answer. Yeah. Yeah. I like I like Kells, and we had a joint by him. Damn, I wish we would have kept it. Right. Well, he wrote a joint for BBD. Or New yes, yeah. hell yes, BBD, that shit was yeah. mean. What happened? Yeah. And more politics with yeah. the writer, the producer, his yeah, man, and his that. man's man next to him. It was just you yeah. know, you know oh, how yeah. it get. That Business. wouldn't have played out well, especially because everybody would have kept going back to y'all yeah. lying on poison backstage. Yeah, this shit was hot, though, bro. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this shit was hot, right. though. Right. Tell him, man, you ain't shit for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, you and Mike Tyson still cool? Yes, definitely. That's my brother. <laughs> Those are some great stories. It seems like y'all could have y'all own buddy movie oh, based man. off y'all life when y'all was young. We we would be uh, super cops. <laughs> <laughs> it's just me and Bobby, super cops. What's the craziest Mike Tyson story? Oh man, um, wow. We were in Cleveland and it was after a concert and um, he pulled up in, at the hotel and he had his Lamborghini truck, this big Lamborghini truck. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anybody's ever seen yeah, one. Yeah, we've seen the old ones, yeah, yeah. Yeah, anyway, he pulls up and you know, he's a little tipsy, you know, and I'm like, you know, I gotta bring you home. And I'm not tips. I'm not tipsy, but I'm not sober. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, right. So he lets me. <laughs> he, he, let, he lets me drive. He lets me drive, and me and him in a Lamborghini truck in the snow in Cleveland, Ohio. We get stuck, and we on the side of the road. Me and Mike Tyson have to walk. I don't know how far we had to walk to get back, but we made it back to the hotel and. <laughs> We didn't know where we left the truck, <laughs> <laughs> so we had we had to have the police find the truck, and you know we got, had to get it out of the snow and all of that shit. But mm. it was just it was just crazy that <laughs> me and him was walking in the snow. And this was celebrity was celebrity, celebrity, yeah, celebrity. Right. yeah, yeah. yeah. Y'all did that a lot though. Y'all used to leave cars all over the place. Yeah, we yeah we I did, I did. How yeah. many cars did you leave? Just. Just leave them. Just break down and leave them. Flat I, I mean, them? I would. I would. When I go to a city, I I might be on the bus or in a limo, and I didn't really like riding in limos. And I might I might see somebody drive up in a nice Benz or something, and I get out and I always kept cash on me, so I would get out and offer them cash and buy the car and drive it around the city while I'm there and leave it at the airport or <laughs> leave it at the hotel. <laughs> You know, Bobby is also the reason Mike Tyson lost his first fight to Buster Douglas. Wow. Because they was wilding together. We was wilding in Japan together and the night before, and um, 
I kept telling him to go to sleep. I kept telling him to go to bed, but he, he just, he wow. just go to he bed. didn't want to go to bed. No, I'm not sleepy. <laughs> Yeah. Now, this guy's a, this guy's a bum. I'm gonna I'm, I'll be I'll be right back. Watch. I'm, I'm coming. I'm 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 gonna walk in the ring. I'm gonna knock him out, and then I'm coming back to the party. <laughs> Damn it! So man. what was the conversation like after he lost? It was it was not good, not good at all. Um, I cried a lot. I I I mean I straight grown man ass cry. Mm-hmm. Um. And we we didn't talk for a while until you know we we didn't talk for a while. Cause he blamed he it blamed on it on you. No, he didn't blame it on me. No, mm. no. How could you? I mean, if you didn't take your ass to sleep, you didn't take your ass to sleep. <laughs> Why did y'all talk? No, it was just, just you know we just went separate ways, you know, different ways. That you damn know. Bobby. <laughs> what do Bobby and Mike talk about now when y'all get together? We talk about everything. Did you? Yeah. Mike is one of the smartest brothers I've ever met in my life. Right. Mike is the most super intelligent. You can ask him any question about anything in this world, mm. and he can answer it for you. Wow. Mm. He's that intelligent. Now, how are you guys all traveling on the road? Do you all have separate buses this time, or? I mean, how does it Bobby got his own bus. <laughs> still figuring that out. Still, <laughs> still figuring that out. But Come on, I got, Bob, no, 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 I got no, a serious. lot of kids. No, here's the thing: Bob likes to bring his own family. Yeah, yeah. His okay, own family. that makes sense. Yeah. So he'll have his own bus, right? And I think Ron is gonna bring the kids and the wife out too. So he'll probably have I'm his own bus. I'm gonna be squeezing them on right. our bus. Nah, nah. <laughs> so, so that's on, the part so we're trying to figure out. So what bus you riding on? I'm riding on the Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky, and Mike one bus that that's coming off. The tour for. budget that everybody's paying for. That's so what happening. bus I'm on? You, if you you gonna be on this bus, I got four. <laughs> right. Hey, well then you need your own bus. All right. <laughs> Man, I think y'all should have had this figured out already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Right. We're still we're trying to figure it out. September six. Right. We still don't have You're shit figured out. You're not riding on that bus. Exactly. You're riding with the crew. Right. right. <laughs> You're riding That's with amazing. the production so wait, crew. The BAT show comes on September fourth and fifth for Bobby yeah. Brown and then right. the Bobby Brown story. September six. Ontario. We're in New York. And Brooklyn, I believe, on September 21st. We ha- we actually doing how the interview started, because that's the shit we were supposed to do. What? We were supposed to go on the road January 28th, 2017. Yeah. Right yeah. after the right movie. After, right after the movie. Right. Yeah. That's what we really wanted to do. Yes. With the right. album, the tour, and the, all the paperwork right. that was waiting for signatures. Right. It was just... You know, with the date scrolling down or up during the commercial of the... Come yeah. on, man. it was uh, a, it's, That's a perfect. layup. Yeah, yeah you're right. Let right. me tell you all something, man. That shit still hurts. Yeah, it does. Like, it hurts when you think <clears throat> about it. When you think about all the money that slipped through our fingers. Oh, my God. You know, I don't at feel that like time, it's gone, it's like, I feel like y'all been in this I, game for 40 years. Like, yeah, I don't mean, mean, know what? It's a different... Right. 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 But wait, but wait, but wait. He been asking all these damn questions. Hold up, Ricky did some research after the movie, right? Out of the top 10 albums in iTunes, we had seven. Wow. So that meant the single shits, the shits they made up. Oh, this is the new edition hits and the new edition remix hits. Right. We had seven. If we was, the deal was we was including all seven of them on one album. Right. And we was going back to record zero. Right. right. So all that paper would have been on one album mm-hmm. as opposed to people searching and finding. Right. That was all eyes for the taking. And that's a part of what the movie is about, all the money we didn't make. So we could have made all of that back in those Absolutely. three days. And not only right. that, that's what he's heard about. about the new exactly. generation that got to see New Edition right. that they had no idea. Exactly. Like my daughter. My daughter, she plays New Edition now. Wow. And she's 16 years old. Wow. Right. I grew up on it. So it's just it's crazy the fact that like she would have went to that tour. It would have been 70 year olds to 15 right. year olds. Right. Right. You know I mean? right. Down right. down to some kids on um, on Instagram, that was three and two years old. I right. think they'll still my son's be there, nine, man. My yeah. son is nine and square. He's you know what, Charlamagne? I do on the other side of it. I do believe it's still gonna happen. Yeah. Right. I mean, when it, I when so. it does, you know, and and also this too, um, because performing, going on tour, that that's our bread and butter. Like we take a lot of pride in our presentation, right? Right. And so, and now we understand that you know, there's parents they got to get babysitters and. Mm-hmm. Because those tickets are, they're pricey. Mm -hmm. You know, a hundred bucks and up. You know, there's no cheap seats. And you're going on a date, the outfit, the dinner, whatever it is. We, we, you know, we think about that. Even when we're putting our, so we're grateful. We want to put on the best show possible. So when you do see New Edition, 
the production, the sound, the members, the energy, it's going to be what you pay for. But and bro, we, we won't go out unless we know we, it's like that. But we thought about it when we was going this time. We exactly. wasn't going to do those $100 tickets like that. Mm -hmm. We knew those kids because we figure a chick grew up with us. She got three or four kids. Mm -hmm. She She's didn't need the nanny. We was like... We was gonna have. We was gonna tell the promoter. We was gonna set up. Look, we are gonna get what we get. Even like Ron always say, even if we gotta drop our guarantee down. Cause our thought was, if the whole house watched the movie, then the whole house should come, to the, come to the show. Yeah, man. Yeah, you man, you can't outprice people that want to see that experience. Right. Even if you say, okay, it's a twenty thousand seater. You know, at least take three or four thousand of those seats and you know sit them at twenty nine dollars or whatever it right, used to right. be back in the day you and know we was gonna get our money our other money from somebody else so right. that we didn't hurt people's pockets that's what that's what we was trying to put together that's right. dope. Now, now bobby let's get back to some bullshit did you press usher <laughs> back in the day huh did you press usher it was a rumor that you pressed Usher, like you ran up on Usher back in the day no 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 oh. me and usher that's my little that's my little brother right yeah Where'd you hear this rumor? Hey, somewhere. I, yeah, I forgot why I heard from? that at, but it was always a rumor you ran up on Usher. Oh, no, hell no. No. Nah. That's my you, little brother. What did you think of Jay Z's line when he said to be Bobby then, you have to be Bobby now? I didn't hear that. I never heard mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. You got really? some shit. But what does to that be mean? Bobby what now. did he mean? To be Bobby then, you got to be you Bobby, be Bobby now. now. I think he was just talking about like the ebbs and flows of life, the ups and downs of life. Like you got to take the good with the bad, basically. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. okay. That's that's nice. That's a hot... pretty clever. But yeah, that's right. clever. I get it. Mm -hmm. Did you guys have any hard feelings with each other like after the new edition movie came out and you saw, because I know you guys sat together to come up with the script, but then actually seeing things play out, seeing how people felt, seeing other people's point of view, was there like some tension after that? Mm-mm. Look at me, so. Mike. Um, no, I, I no. Did you, you have any tension? Talk, no, there was, just, there, there was a couple things in there that um, I didn't know happened mm -hmm. that I'm still not sure if I believe. Right. Wow. Does that have to do with Ralph? Um, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to say it because we're pushing for nights four and five. <laughs> <laughs> I think y'all need to get all but, this out of the way before y'all get them fours and fives. Exactly, yeah. exactly. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Well, tickets are on sale yep. right now. Yeah, I could talk to y'all forever, man. They're going right. to be in your, in your market. <laughs> Definitely get your tickets. We appreciate you guys for Bobby, joining us, Bobby, you ain't never pressed no comedians for going too far with Bobby Brown jokes? Nah. nah. Never? I, I, You know what? I don't... Maybe I got a I got a great <laughs> sense of humor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah, know, and 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 my attitude is this: if you don't walk up on me, then you don't you don't get these. You know, mm -hmm. but if you walk up on me, right, then 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 we gonna handle some business. There's Absolutely. gonna be some furniture moving. In that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? was one of the the, the early people to, to to rock with the Breakfast Club too. Wow. Early, early, yeah. early. Oh, yeah. Early, early. Bobby and Mike were early. Well, make sure y'all go visit stuff. that big head they have. A, I don't know if you saw that big head. Yeah. Of yeah. Hey, listen, Harlem, while yeah. we on this, Mike, you want to go with thefoods.com? Because I'm getting my shit in. Listen, oh, oh, sporty, I go. SportyRichardProud.com. <laughs> get your SR shit. Come to the concert. Support yeah. the cause. Mm -hmm. right. BobbyBrownFoods.com. <laughs> um, go get your barbecue sauces and right. all all kinds of things. We ran out also, of barbecue sauce too. Wait, it's it's called barbecue we ran sauce? Out of it, also, barbecue. I, I, right. I, I need everybody's attention on this one. Um, I just started uh, Bobby Christina's Serenity House. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a um, safe haven for domestic violence. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I want everybody to um, do me a favor and... Uh, wait a minute. I just had it. I've seen it too. Let me see. Uh, oh. Here it is. Um, this is a 1 800 number mm -hmm. um, for anybody that's in danger, that's, you know, going through something domestic. It's 144 444 BKSH. 1844 B. 1844 444 BKSH. Yes. If you're in any trouble and if you're in a domestic violence situation, you can call that hotline and you can receive help and attention. Right. And the um, number again is 844-444-BKSH. Yes. Yes, right. yes. And um, my wife and myself, Amy Bell, um, we have a single out. It's called Gold, and 100% of the proceeds go to an um, organization 
called Direct Relief, who provide emergency services in over 80 countries to those affected by natural disasters. Okay. Amazing. And last but not least, since 2002, Envy, you saw it in the movie, mm-hmm. I became a real estate agent. Oh, I'm on, and though. I started my own company in 2006, and we've been kicking and screaming ever since then. DevoeRealEstate.com and my beautiful wife and I were marriage ambassadors. We have a Married for Life walk coming up in Virginia on September 15th in the midst of the tour. So just impacting people's lives and spreading love. Yes, you know? and we just want to say shouts to Boston for raising us. Everything yes. we do, we do it with the B on our chest and the B stands for the Biv fam. That's Tisha, Shyla, Savannah, Stalin, my newborn, Sinai. There you there go. You go. Yeah, there salute you go. to Ralph and Johnny. Ralph and Johnny yes, cut indeed. the bullshit so everybody can get back together, please. Charlamagne Let's do this. It. Let's do this. Right. Charlemagne said it. Let's it's do the it. Breakfast Club. It's BBD. What up, T? Bobby Brown. What up, T? Hey.